Get out of my way, you filthy European. Because we got them 739 of the American finest. Let's try and use the fourth gear here to minimize the wheel spin on the exit. It did not minimize anything at all. Oh my god, help me. 24 Hours of Le Mans 2023 is very special for many reasons. The race itself is 100 years old now. Plus, there is a huge hypercar entry with the likes of Cadillac, Ferrari, Porsche and Peugeot trying to take on the Toyota dominance. But there is one more thing that makes this race particularly exciting. Hendrick Motorsports Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 is a special NASCAR entry into this year's Le Mans 24. Obviously, the car has been heavily modified to take on such a huge challenge. It now has loads of aero on it. I'm pretty sure traction control and ABS as well, correct me if I'm wrong. And obviously, the most advanced technologies of them all, the ability to turn right. And the driver's lineup is absolutely insane. Jimmy Johnson, Mike Rockefeller, and Jensen Button are going to be driving this car. It is a sole entry into the innovative car class, so it's basically going to be competing against itself, just trying to survive the race. But ever since it's been announced that this car is going to be taking part in the 24 Hours of Le Mans, I've been curious how it's going to do against the GTE cars. And in all honesty, I fully expected it to just hang at the back just driving around on its own trying to survive the race and that is it. As of the recording of this video, the race hasn't happened yet, so if you are watching in the future, please let me know, did you enjoy the race? What was your favorite moment of the race? But the qualifying has already happened. Hendrick Motorsport Chevy ZL1 has qualified 37th overall, uh, which doesn't sound that impressive. However, uh, that P37 is ahead of all the GTE cars and even won LMP2 car. It has absolutely spanked the whole GTE class, being almost four seconds faster than the fastest GTE car. I definitely did not expect that whatsoever. I expected it to be an absolute boat driving around uh, Le Mans, uh, but I guess it's not. Obviously, qualifying doesn't mean a lot. We have a whole 24 hour race ahead of us, but it is a very interesting situation that this car has found itself in. It's also been decided just recently that it is going to be starting ahead of the LMGT E-Class because it's simply too fast for those losers. So what I want to do today is try and experience what it's like to drive a NASCAR Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 around Le Mans against GTE and hypercars. Here we are on Gran Turismo 7 and first things first, uh, we need to build this car because there's no NASCAR vehicles whatsoever in this game. So we have to buy a stock car, a road car, a road Chevy Camaro and build it into a NASCAR 24 hours of Le Mans entry. There we go, this is the car that we're going to be using, Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, basically the road version of what we are going to be building. Only 79 and a half thousand credits, so uh, let's go buy it and start our uh, transformation process of this car into a race car. I'm just trying to find the exact specs of the car that's going to be competing at Le Mans at least the power and weight, so I could make our car as close to it as possible. So we need 1,342 kilos of weight with up to 750 horsepower. Holy hell, that is, that is a lot, but yeah, let's go. Now we've got to drop the weight significantly. We need to lose 400 kilos of weight. 1576, 1472. Can we go lighter? Yes, we can. 1402. We need to lose another 60 kilos. Can we do that? Yes, we can. So that would put us below by nine kilos, but we are going to apply uh, ballast to make this car exactly 1342 kilos of weight. Now, obviously all of the racing stuff, fully customizable suspension, racing clutch and flywheel, brake balance controller, of course, uh, racing brake kit. Um, so the car itself is a five speed, but I've got a feeling that if I put this racing transmission in is going to be six speed but we'll see we'll see it's not that big of a deal anyway i think now we need to add a bit more power 100 horsepower to be exact 708 air filter yes uh, intercooler yes cooling is very important although it adds only three horsepower racing exhaust manifold yet yeah, that sounds about right polished ports 
Yes, that's that puts us to 739 horsepower. That is that is about right. I'm gonna leave it at that in terms of power. Now, the arrow and all of the visual bits. Can we put a wide body on this car to make it seem more like a NASCAR vehicle? Yes, we can. That does seem about right. Let's put that on the car. Oh, there's no front or side. Uh, arrow bits. What about the rear? Yes, there is a diffuser there. We are going to be needing that. Yeah, there is a diffuser on the actual car. About the wing. Uh, we can't put a lip wing on this thing. So let's just go wingless for now. Now wheels. Obviously we need center lock wheels and I'm pretty sure uh, we're supposed to have BBS. So the these are perfect. There's, I'm pretty sure these are the ones that they're using now. You know what? Actually, it, it, it looks quite close. Uh, and now, obviously, we need a livery. And there we have it. This is our car. Uh, Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. Le Mans NASCAR Hybrid. We're pushing 739 horsepower on 1342 kilos of weight. Barely any downforce, but in the game, the rear diffuser does add quite a bit of downforce on the rear and on the front. So I'm guessing in terms of downforce levels, we are quite close. I assume, uh, to the real thing. Now, we need to do a little bit of setup magic to make this thing into a race car, and then it's going to be ready to race at our uh, miniature 24 hours of the month. Oh man, just listen to it. God! Damn! I love it! Alright, let's go. Let's go race it. So here are the settings that we're going to be using for this race. It's going to be a 30 minute long endurance race with 20 cars. I'm going to be starting last and we are going to be competing against... I've made the first nine cars the hypercars. Unfortunately, there's only a Toyota uh, in the game, but it's gonna, this is going to be our hypercar class. And then from 10th to 19th, this is our GTE, GT3, Group 3 class. Uh, and there's me starting all the way at the back. The tire wear and fuel consumption is going to be set to 1x just so it's there, but not overly in the way of us racing other cars. And then we are also going to have the variable time speed rate at 30x, so we're going to get close to 24 hour cycle. Not quite, at 50, I'm pretty sure it's going to be 15 hours, uh, so close to it, but we're still going to get day night, day transition. And we are going to have custom weather. So that means uh, the rain is a possibility. Let us start the race. All right, our short 30 minutes of Le Mans 24 in the NASCAR Chevy ZL1. And immediately off we go on the power. Look at the speed of this thing. Look at the speed. I'm with the 16, but I gotta be very careful through the corners. We all bunched up. Gotta be careful here. The Mulsan straight is where we are going to make all of our progress. AI doing weird things here. Ooh -hoo! Okay, I, ooh, I, I, I gotta be careful on the power. This thing is, this thing is rowdy. Oh, holy. Okay, let's be very careful for now. There is actually a little bit of water on the track. Nothing major, I've just noticed. So the track is damp. We'll see if the rain comes at any point, but oh, it's very difficult to drive it for now. Can I get on the power? Yes, we can. And now, now we unleash all of the 739 horsepower. Get out of my way, you filthy European. Coming through. 300 clicks down the straight. Can we get to 350? 320. 330. I have no idea where I have to break. I'm gonna break here because we're quite close to the corner. That was actually that was actually perfect. Maybe a little bit too early. We are we are right on the back of Oh, hypercars. Oh, come on, get it straight. Come on, gotta get on the power. Yeah, there we go, there we go. We are less than a second away from the hypercars. They are gonna pull away a little bit at the start due to the hybrid system, which we obviously do not need because we got them 739 of the American finest. Bray horsepower. Oh, hello, guys. Don't mind if I did lead you. Sliding by. Oh, this is this is a scary corner. I gotta break, I gotta break, I gotta break. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, he's on my inside. Oh, God, help. Oh, wait, we're fine. All right. P8, P8. But now, the corners are coming up. An area where myself and the car uh, aren't really good at. But we're actually, we're actually, we're staying with them. We're staying with them. I guess AI is really slow. But there's still a lot of cars we need to overtake. We didn't really pull away from the cars behind. But 
What are they? Ooh, what? Wait, 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 wait. Why are they all coming into the pits? They started an intermediate. That's why I was so close. That's why it was so easy. They all an intermediate tires. Well, uh, I don't think that's really fair. So I'm just going to restart without rain. So they all start on slick tires. And we're going to do it again. Here we are for attempt number two. Uh, the sky is clear, so everyone is supposed to be starting on the slicks, uh, which is good. Uh, now, let's go again. All right, here we go. Attempt number two. Got to try and clear these GTs as early as possible. Off we go. Amazingly easy positions. Can we get past them as early as possible? Please stay on the road. Got to be careful, but now... Oh, I'm stuck behind him. Come on, get on the power. Yes, there we go. There we go. There we go. Let's unleash the unlimited power of this car. All right, less than three seconds behind hypercars. We are gaining. We are gaining. This is this is where we have to make all the gains. These huge straights is where I need to make my move. Oh, we're closing in. Oh, we are closing in. We've got to break very earlier, though. Probably around here. Yeah, look at, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, yeah. Got me on the brakes easily. I've got nothing on the brakes. Let's try and use fault to minimize the wheel spin here on the exit. It did not minimize anything. Come on. Let's go. Oh, we lost about a second just through the corner and on the exit there. But we should be able to gain all that back on the straight. And on the power, on the power, on the power. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Now that they're not on the intermediate tires, it's a little bit more difficult. It is going to be a lot more difficult through the corners now. Can we slide past at least one car here? Oh, this is sketchy, this is sketchy, this is scary. Oh, I've got a break, I've got a break, I've got a break. He's still there. Oh, he got me there. That was, that was easy. Sliding up the inside, though. Oh, you just cut me off there. Damn. Okay, if we stay about this distance, we should be able to overtake at least one car on the Mulsan straight. But there's a lot of corners coming up where I'm a lot slower than all of those guys. Oh, no, 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 no. That was a big mistake. That was a big mistake. That was a big mistake. That was a huge mistake. That was a huge mistake. Oh, my. Oh, my. I've lost all my progress. Oh, my. Okay. Okay, we are a long way back now. That was, that, was a, that was a huge mistake. I definitely overestimated the braking performance of this car. All right, well, we're seven and a half, more than seven and a half seconds behind. Let's try and catch them if we can. Are we closing in? Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at us go. Oh, we got a break, got a break, got a break. Oh, that might be too late. That might be too late. Oh, just about legit overtake. Legit overtake. Oh, okay. All right, up one position amongst hypercars. Get wrecked, my guy. See you later, loser. On the exit, come on, give me, give me grip. No, this is not grip. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Goodbye, my dude. Gotta be very careful on the brakes. Nice and early, nice and early. Don't need to overshoot the corner. The old bunch up here, which is good. It's gonna help us, the sun is setting. We do have 30 times time progression. So we are gonna get into the night soon. Yep, past one into P7. Can we get these guys here? Up the inside? Nope, no, no, it's it's not happening. It is not happening. It is not happening at all. Oh, big slide from P6, but it doesn't matter. They still got massive advantage on the exit of the corner. Look at this thing, just leave me. Can we get P6 here coming into the right-hander? It's gonna be very sketchy because I gotta break early. Am I gonna make the corner this time? Yes, I am. Oh, he's still there. Oh, oh no. Woo! Oh, that's scary. Man, I got done around the outside. I'm not surprised though, but still. Oh man, the understeer, please. Fast lap of the race. Hell yeah, by four seconds. Let's go. Come on, come on, get on the power. Get on the power, get on the power. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go after them. 1.5 seconds, we might, we just about might be able to get at least one of them here. Come on, come on, come on. Into the slipstream. <laughs> Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go, easy, easy, easy. Oh man, two of them. Okay, on the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes, nice and early. Oh my, oh my, w w what are you guys doing? Hello. I mean, have some respect. Oh, 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 properly into the night time now. Not quite there, but we are close. Can we get P4 here before the braking? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh my, I'm oh, no, oh, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. Handbrake. It doesn't exist in the real race car, but it doesn't matter. Save me. 
get some grip, please, go, go, no, no, I cannot afford that, I cannot afford that, please get past them, please, please, yes, 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 top speed kicked in, goodbye, that was a huge time loss, that was a huge time loss, we, we can recover, we can recover from it, there's a tiny mistake from Dunlap here, oh, there's just no way to go, oh, that is a big slide, curbs are not friends, good to know, oh, my man's fumbling, he feels the presence, of the mighty V8, he's shaking. Oh my, oh my, I'm shaking as well, oh god. Okay, onto the straight, easy. We're gonna overtake them, easily. Goodbye, my dude, up into P4. Can we get more of them here on the straight? This is the question. Oh, absolutely we can. Look at the speed, look at the speed. A double on the brakes? No, 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 no. We, I, I couldn't see where I need to brake. That was way too early and I got scared. So we lost P3 once again down to P4, but we've got a massive straight coming up and we're right on them. If I can get some traction out of the first hairpin chicane, sorry. Come on, come on, come on, get me there, get me there. Oh yes, into the slipstream, oh absolutely yes, give it to me, thank you very much. P3, P2, P1, where do I break? Probably around here. Oh my, I'm not staying P1. They're a lot better on the brakes. They're a lot better on the brakes. There's still somebody on my... Oh, hello, my guy. You scared me. Come on, come on. Get, get on the power, please. I beg of you. Immediately lost all the progress. But you guys, you do not stand a chance. I'm I'm sorry. I, I apologize for that. Into the slipstream once again. Back up into P2. Chasing after P1. Can we get him? He goes defensive. Can we get P1? On the straight. Probably easily. There we go. Into the lead now. Just gotta make sure that we stay in the lead. And bring this car home. Oh my... Oh, holy hell. I, I got distracted for half a second. I stop. The tires are dirty. The skill is not existent. Come on. Just go. Oh, he's right there. Larson, please, no. Please, please get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. P oh, look at this train behind me. They're, they're, they are ready. Alright, starts lap number five in the lead. Oh my, oh no, 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 please, please do not do, oh no, 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 do not do that. Please, please grip to the track. There we go, thank you. They're fighting behind, uh, and that is good, but oh, I'm still scared. Oh, please, please, I'm trying my best to be as smooth in the power as possible. Please, just work with me. Nice and early on the brakes, nice and early, no mistakes. Oh, oh how, how, how am I, oh, what am I doing? How am I not slowing down, please? Please get on the power. There we go. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Come on, kick, kick, go, 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 go. Yes, yes, please. <gasps> no, 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 we're good, we're fine. What are you doing, my guy? Ah, oh, phew, that, phew, that was scary. Thankfully, I turned damage off. Holy hell, nearly got murdered there. <gasps> I break too late, I break too late. I, I missed, I missed my breaking point. Oh, God. Oh, that was, that was legit, that was legit. I, oh, God, please. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thankfully, it did not reset me, but they are very close now. No, go away, go away, go, go away. There we go, thank you. There we go, we're building a bit of a gap. We're not really, they're still right on me. I was just about to say, hopefully with them fighting, I can build a bit of a gap here, but it's just not happening. It's just not. Turn, please, I missed the apex by about two states there. Oh my, I'm, I forgot to break here. Okay, we're good, we are fine. And I was too early on the brakes, no, he's, oh, he sent it on me! What a guy! Oh no, I've been, I've been done. I've been, I've been absolutely destroyed here. We lost P1. I was not paying attention. I, I thought, I thought AI just doesn't have the balls on GT7, but they absolutely do. We are going to retake it though on the straight. If I can keep the car going in a straight line. These guys behind are fighting, which is good. So it's now me versus Larson. I'm going to easily fly past them on the straight here once again. But we've seen what he can do. Please just leave me alone. Oh, purple sector. That is beautiful. We stay in third here. And here come the GTs. You can barely see them in the distance. So we're probably going to be lapping them either at the very end of this lap or at the start of the next lap. All right, here we go. P2 and hypercars right there. 
well, P1 in the hypercars and P2 overall is right there. So any mistake I make, any moment I have, hesitating with the GTs, they're going to overtake me. All right, here we go. Should be able to clear them on the straight here. They're going to, why, why, why are you guys doing that? That is, that is, that is terrifying. Up the inside, can I slide in? Yes, good, 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 good. That was, that was easy. Who's that on my, oh, oh, oh. okay, that, oh, I, 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 I got scared there for a second. I thought it was a hypercar. Why are you blocking me, my guy? You lap down. Get out of my way. Thank you. Oh, why are the wipers on? Is it raining? Oh, no, he's on my outside. Oh, God, what's going on? I'm, I'm scared. What, why is happening? What, is it? Is it raining? It's raining. Oh, it is. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, it's raining. Oh, my God, it's raining. How heavy is it? It's not that heavy for now. Should stop soon. Okay, we're fine. The other hypercars are very far behind, so it's only me and Larson at the moment, and it is raining. You gotta be very careful on the damn track now. Nice and early on the brakes, nice and early. Got more GTs to lap, but it's going to happen on the straights, which is good. This might be the final lap, this might be the penultimate lap, we'll see. Give me a little bit of a slipstream, there we go. Pass one. We might have to overtake the other one into the chicane. This is not something I want to be doing. The rain is everywhere around the track, but it's not raining currently, which is good. All right, let's be careful on the brakes. We've got to be very early on the brakes, earlier than GTs on the brakes. That is the annoying part. Hart, please get out of the way. Get out of, get out of my apex, you filthy European. This is going to be the final lap. This is the final lap of the race. Oh, we're about to hit more rain. Oh, this is scary. This is, this is terrifying. I don't like that. And Larson is right there. He's right there. As soon as I make a mistake, he's going to spank me and take my position away. There we go. This is the confirmation that this is the final lap. We've got... Oh, I've grazed the wall there. We've got GTs in the way here. Larson is right behind me. It's raining again. Get out of the way. You are American as well. Get out of the way right now. Thank you. Get on the power. Go, go, go. Yes, they got stuck behind him. Yes, good work. Good work, my dude. Yeah. Okay, Ferrari, please. Please do not make it too difficult. Oh, he is going to make it difficult. Yeah, he's going to make it very difficult. Okay, through we go. Oh, final corner. And we are going to take the overall win of this 30 minutes of Le Mans. There we go. Whoo, man. That was tough. That's probably the toughest single player race I've ever had. But the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 NASCAR came through. There we have it. That is the experience of driving the NASCAR Chevrolet Camaro around Le Mans against GTs and hypercars. Obviously, it's not going to be like this. Or maybe it is. We, we never know. Maybe it is going to be exactly like this in the actual real life Le Mans 24. Uh, this year, but probably not. But still, I'm very excited to see how this car gets on. That was a very interesting race. I'm very glad that Gran Turismo gives us this opportunity to create these kind of races. I know the online state of Gran Turismo is in a very interesting period of time at the moment, but this is still a great game and I'm enjoying it. And hopefully you did too. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Let me know in the comments. If you're watching this before the race, do you think the Camaro is going to do well, if it's going to survive the Le Mans 24 at all, and if you're watching this after the race, let me know what you think of the race, what you think of the uh, this special NASCAR entry, did you enjoy the race, what's your favorite moment, and that is it for now, thank you very much for watching, you're amazing, never forget about it, and I'll see you next time.